waiting for them doors to open. How's everybody doing this morning? What's up, your trucker? They're late. It's 10 o'clock. They're late. Doing good? That's good. That's good. Just wait. Just wait for those doors open. What's up, little pickles? Thanks for being here. Just wait. Just wait. Alright, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Thank you for the rose. First thing she used. Um, doesn't look like they did any restocks. Mm -mm. Nothing, nothing for shoes. A bunch of junk. Off to the races. Alright, let's hit up the jeans and then we'll go through the normal jeans, then long sleeve shirts, sweaters. You know the drill. You know the drill. Appreciate everybody hanging out. If you guys could tap the tap the screen, send me some likes, and we'll get right into it. Yep, they are. They always play the religious music in the uh, Salvation Army. Doesn't look like they have cleaned up anything because there's still stuff all over the place. Premium Levi's, leave those behind. If you're not following, hit that follow button in the top left hand corner. I'm gonna be going live a few times today, so as I hit my next store, you'll get a notification as soon as I go live. These vintage, these are vintage. See right there, it says, it's very hard to see, but it says made in the USA, which means these are vintage Levi's. Um, I don't know if these are men's or women's though. Let me see that back tag. It's a little, little E. Um, they want seven bucks for them. I'll look them up after the live, but these are probably worth picking up because they're vintage. Vintage Levi's always do good. Tap those likes, tap them, tap them, tap them. Uh, thank you for helping us newbies, no problem. Thank you for uh, hanging out. Those are regular Levi's. I'm not interested in the regular ones. Just the vintage. Just the vintage. I don't know how much they restocked because this place is an absolute mess. So hopefully, hopefully we find some good stuff here. Probably gonna go to a few thrifts. There we go, right there. $5.99 for a pair of Piranha shorts. I'm gonna pick these up. These sell really, really well. Piranha, really good brand to pick up. Oh man, makes me wanna go through the shorts really quick, but I am gonna go through the jackets and then we'll come back to the shorts. Good, how are you? Let's see, 
old school Tommy Hilfiger, but it's not really anything special. That's a vintage Tommy Hilfiger piece. Puma. Uh, I'm not gonna pick that up. Trench coat, it's a trench coat. Like, like probably like a London Vogue or something. Had an L.O. Bean flannel after watching it live the other day. Nice. Nice. I just uh, just took photos of all of them last night. I haven't even got to list them yet. I tried listing them before I went um, into this thrift store, but I had no reception. Old Navy. American Eagle. And I'm in the UK, nice. All the way from the UK. If you guys aren't following, make sure you hit that follow button in the top left hand corner. It'll notify you as soon as I go live. I'm gonna go hit, hitting a few stores today. Nothing. Love watching um, 15 for myself. I keep them a lot, yeah. It happens. But remember, try not to get high on your own supply. List those, list those items you find. easy for me because I I wear the same clothing like basically every day so I got a bunch of white t-shirts and I pretty much wear those white t-shirts and black t-shirts so whenever I find a nice item I never pick it up and never wear it for myself hey somebody subscribe let's go appreciate you bold north all right let's update this um let's just shoot high shoot high right All right, there we go. New subscription started. Appreciate it, Old North. I wish I, I wish I could make all the little emotes and stuff, but I haven't got that that ability yet. What platform are you selling? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. Um, how do you have the time to do this every day? Everything I um, buy, throw, take pics. Um, so much to do. I do this full time, so I, I don't have another job. This this is my job. So that's how I have I have enough time to do this. I was hoping for a Titans mo. I mean, if I could make them, I don't have the. Once I get the subscription button here, I think I can make emotes. But right now, I mean, if you try to use an emote, I don't know if they even have any, because they haven't really given me the option for subscription. They just give it to me in the goals. So I don't know. I don't know what TikTok's doing right now. Appreciate the follow. Here's some Brooks Brothers shirts, but they're way too expensive, and they're just plain Brooks Brothers. If they were brand new with tags, I'd probably pick them up, but they're just plain Brooks Brothers like that. They're a pass, same with that one. Plain Brooks Brothers, plain Brooks Brothers. If they were white dress shirts, also I'd pick them up. What state are you in? I'm in Florida. Flow Rider. Ooh, this one might be a pickup. If this is linen, it is. It's linen. It's only $7.99. Linen does really, really well. As long as this doesn't have any stains and I'll look it over, um, I'm gonna pick this up. Linen Brooks Brothers do well. So we'll scoop that up. Everybody likes a little linen in their lives. <clears throat> Where are you at? I'm at Salvation Army. What's up, bearded? What's up from Liverpool? Nice, all the way from Liverpool. Yeah, if you guys are just hopping in and you're not following, make sure you hit that follow button because I'm going to be going live a few times today. I'm trying to get to 20K followers. I might be able to do it today. I mean, I'm, I'm like 1.4K off of 20K. I don't know if I can do it, though. Let's see what we got. New York? What's up, New York? What's temperature like in New York right now? It's probably a little chilly. I look chilly in NY. Appreciate the follow. Alright. Nothing so far. Just one Brooks Brothers shirt. Rough. You know. New Orleans, Alaska. <laughs> you look like you're from Alaska, bearded. <laughs> Indiana, where are you located? I'm in Florida. Tampa Bay area to be exact.
Yeah, dress shirts have been have been not so good. Um, what are the most expensive things you sold? Um, um, probably those, I mean, I always say this is probably those two Lily Pulitzer blazers that I have. If you look at my videos, it's pinned to the top. I sold two men's Lily Pulitzer blazers for $1,100. That's my best profit item that I've ever sold. Two of them for $1,100. I made basically just, just under $900 profit. Appreciate the 10 pumpkins and bearded. I set the goal high today because I knew we'd have a bunch of people in here. So set the goal high. All right, let's get into just the solids. How much did you pay for the Blazers? Um, $8.98 a piece. I got them in a bulk buy. If you go watch the video, it's, it's, it tells you exactly what I paid for them. And then it also says um, for you to go watch my YouTube video that I, I opened them. I opened them in the bulk buy. I really didn't know what they were until I listed them. Probably go slower too. I mean, you guys can see the labels. I'm always fast when I'm out thrifting. Appreciate the pumpkins, ladies. It's old school or Orvis, but it has a patch on the front. It's old school though. I'll probably leave it with the patch. Cabela's, decent Cabela's too. This is might be vintage. Uh, made in China. I still think that's a pretty old one. It's got a stain on the front though. We're gonna leave it. What are you looking for? I'm looking for brands with good resell value. <clears throat> your son does this also? Nice, shout out to your son. Um, I would love to do this, but I have no clue where to start. Uh, easy, you're right, you're right where you need to start. Go watch some of my videos and that's where you'll figure out how to do this i got tons of videos on reselling clothing i mainly do men's but you could use the same tactics and do women's clothing as well appreciate everybody hopping into if you're not following hit that follow button in the top left hand corner it'll notify you when i go live we also have 820 people in here everybody tap the screen send me some likes um we're gonna try to hit 200k on this stream too last time we were in this store we hit 200k likes so you guys could everybody in the stream tap the screen let's go for let's let's beat the record 207 is my record let's let's shoot for 208 um been reselling full-time for two months now awesome how do you like it so far 10k let's go let's go just uh just 190k off our goal i wish tiktok could um if, i wish they'd let you make a like goal that would be smart of them make a like goal for this for the live um <clears throat> I sold a couple dress a couple days ago for 316 holy cow what uh what brand was it how do you know what brands to look for i've been doing this for four years also you could look up brands on ebay for example you could type in this brand on ebay mbx long sleeve pink shirt something like that filter for used and filter for sold and you'll be able to see exactly what this brand is selling for on ebay that's what you'll do in the beginning and then once you do that enough you'll start learning the brands that have good resale value and then you won't need to do that anymore Hey, getting some corn. It's corn. Whatever happened to that song? Just it just went away. I'm loving it. Finding some process boring though. Yes, listing is boring. Of course, coming out here and treasure hunting is the fun part. But remember, you you have to list. That's how you make your money. That's why that's the way you're able to come back out here and buy stuff. So make sure you're always listing the stuff you find. Good morning, E H E. Hitty, Hildy, something like that. I couldn't read your name. I went away. Dixon Flannel, huge bolo. Found six in one store. Yep. I made a few video, uh, videos on Dixon Flannels. I love picking up Dixon. And most thrift stores don't know what they are, so they price them pretty low. Where do you sell? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. Ooh. Tori Richard. This is a pickup. As long as it's in good condition, which it looks like it is. Nice Hawaiian shirt. These go for about 35 bucks. So I'm going to turn $8.00 into $35. Remember at this store, I don't pay tax. So whatever you see on the tag is what I pay. Love picking up Tory Richard. One of my favorite brands to pick up. This is for um, Bearded Thrifter. Bearded, this is your kind of shirt, right? You want me to pick it up for you, buddy? I can pick this up for you if you want. 
Appreciate everybody following. If you're not following, hit that follow button in the top left-hand corner because I'm going to be going hitting at least a few stores today. At least, uh, at least two, maybe three. So hit that follow button and tap that screen. We're trying to hit 200K. You wear a size small. <laughs> We're trying to hit 200K likes on this stream, so we should be able to do it. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, Bearded, go follow him. He's, he's right up here. These two gentlemen right here, go follow both of them. Top, top gifters. They're, they're really good at what they do. Always support and always appreciate them hopping in the lives. Appreciate all those follows coming in. <clears throat> do you wash the clothing? I only wash the clothing if it has stains or bad smells. It's a nice Tommy Hilfiger. I don't pick up Tommy Hilfiger, but you could make money on this if you wanted to. I mean, this could probably sell for like 25 bucks because it's a decent print, but I don't pick up Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah, only wash items if they have stains or bad smells. Appreciate the mods doing their thing too. I know we got a couple trolls in the chat. We always got a couple trolls. <clears throat> um, why don't you take Tommy a Wrangler? It's too expensive. At, at $8, if I sell it for let's say 20 to 25, I'm not making enough profit for me to actually list it. But for like new people, that would be a perfect pickup staples in the fabric yeah if you take them out slowly it doesn't really affect the uh, the items too much but yeah I hate, I hate it too i wish they would do like the goodwill does and put the little the little tabs in that hang down Ooh, this is a good one this is an excellent one tori richard really nice print on this one i'm gonna say this is probably silk if i had to guess because it feels like silk um, did they cut the tag out? They might have cut the tag out. I'm going to say this is probably silk, but really, really nice one. This one would probably go for like 40, 45. Appreciate it, Bold North. Really nice one. It's a really, really nice toy, Richard. Um, not me wanting to go thrift now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my B. My B. You can thrift. You just got to tell me what I'm missing, right? If I miss anything, you let me know. Where's is what where s that? Um, what do you mean? What you talking about? You see all those follows coming in too. I'm trying to hit 20k by the end of today, so hopefully, hopefully we can do it. If we go, if we get a nice crowd in here today, we should be able to hit 20k. Just checking and making sure this isn't good old Lulu. Doesn't look like Lulu. I don't think that's Lulu. What brands are you looking to find? Brands with good resale value. Tap the screen too. If you guys are just hanging out in chat, tap the screen, send me some likes. I'm trying to answer as many questions as I can, but we got a nice crowd in here today, so it's gonna be pretty hard for me to keep up and thrift at the same time. But you can support by just tapping the screen. You don't gotta send any gifts. Um, just tap the screen. TT Palm. All right, almost done with this rack name of the brands Ooh, look at that look at that i just turned my back boom easy money just turn around and you can find some good stuff it's a size medium untuck it shirt for a whopping 5.99 this is like a 30 to 35 dollar sale all day long and it'll sell super fast because it's a nice color it's a solid black so be on the lookout for that brand untuck it where do you sell i sell on ebay poshmark mercari facebook marketplace gotta love it when you just turn around and the item is just sitting right there <clears throat> Linen always sells good. Yeah, I have a linen um, Brooks Brothers shirt in my cart right now. Love picking up linen. Any woman's workout gear? I'm going to hit the woman's section after I hit the men's. <clears throat> Ever go on whatnot? I bought on whatnot before, but I've never sold on whatnot. And I don't have any plans to. <clears throat> Mark Echo? No, I passed Mark Echo not enough resale value for the prices they have here now if you found it at the bins and you got it for like a dollar yeah you could probably pick it up and sell it but here it doesn't make sense <clears throat> i knew here um uh, how do you hold your phone shop at the same time i'm just holding my phone i'm literally have my phone in front of my face so i'm talking into it and then i have it pointed down at the rack that's it, it does hurt your arm after a while but it's worth it 
Appreciate everybody hopping in. Again, if you're not following, hit that follow button. Tap the screen. We're trying to hit 200K likes on this stream by the end. We got like another hour in this thrift at least, so we should be able to hit that 200K like goal. Let's see what the polo's got in store today. Yeah, should Hopefully I'll hit 20K followers by the end of today. It'll be pretty close. If not, I'm going thrifting again on Friday. I'll definitely hit it on Friday. What about Travis Matthew? I love Travis Matthew. I'll pick it up all day. If I find any, I'll show it to you. What's that? Perfect day. I thought I said Lily Flitzer. No, I don't, I don't pick up Joseph A. Bank. Nope. There's a nice foot joy. Doesn't have any embroidery. $5.99. I'll pick that up. I'll make sure I look it over for any stains at the end, but Foot Joy, as long as it doesn't have any embroidery, these do pretty decently. 25 bucks. Vintage band tees. I don't look for the, in the vintage section to be on, or the uh, t-shirt section to be honest. Here's another Foot Joy, $5.99, but it has a big embroidery on the front. I'm gonna pass. I used to pick those up. I don't pick them up anymore if they have embroidery on them. Never heard of that brand before? Oh, we just did. Jones. Um, I'm gonna pick this up even though it has an embroidery on the front. Johnny O's do pretty good. And this one's oh it's $9.99, never mind. If this was cheaper, I'd pick it up, but it's $9.99. Good brand though. Be on the lookout for that brand. Preferred platform now that eBay lost PayPal. Um, eBay, because eBay sends the money directly to your account instead of worrying about sending it to PayPal. So it's actually better now that they got rid of PayPal. Because now when you get like refunds and stuff, you don't have to go through PayPal and go through eBay and all that extra stuff. Oh man, here's another good one, but it has an embroidery on the front. Bugatti Polo. I still might pick this up for six bucks. It's worth picking up because of the pattern, but I just wish it didn't have that embroidery on the front. I'll probably sell it for like 25 bucks. Pretty quick. There's a uh, Ralph Lauren. The, uh, the the label's coming off a little bit, but that doesn't really matter. This is worth picking up too. Six bucks. It's got a pretty nice pattern to it, and it's one of the uh, performance Polo Ralph Lauren's. Do you clean before selling? Only if they have stains or bad smells. Otherwise, I don't clean them. No. Trying to go slow so you guys can see all the labels. Where are you? I'm in Salvation Army right now. Uh, why do you like? Why don't you like the embroidery on the front? It's just harder to sell. People don't want some random embroidery on the front of their shirt, right? So it just makes it a little bit harder to sell. It's a nice, um, nice uh, bicyclist T-shirt. So yeah. If they were plain, they'd sell a lot better. Spin that around. Yeah, some of these are pretty high. Some of these prices are pretty high, but you're just looking for the brands with good resale value. I don't really look at all the other stuff. Um, how fast do you sell stuff? It depends on the brand. Some brands sell really quick, other brands sit for a while. Just depends on the brand. My eBay store is linked in my bio if you want to go take a look at what I'm selling. And you can actually see what I sold yesterday and for the last 90 days if you wanted to. Bunch of, bunch of junkie brands. List some names that have good resale value. Um, I'll, I'll tell you again, my, um, my store is linked in my bio. If you want to go see brands that have good resale value, just go to my eBay store. Armani, no, I don't pick up Armani. I know it sounds kind of weird, but Armani just doesn't sell very well for me. You understand that if a store for people, otherwise you can't afford retail prices not to resell. You understand that I've been through all of those aisles and there's still that much clothing left on the shelf. So clearly there's enough for everybody to go around. <laughs> nice try, buddy. Nice try. 
Ah, here's a here's a decent one. Peter Millar Summer Comfort. It is $7.99, but it has embroidery all over it. If this had was a regular Peter Millar, I'd pick it up, but because of the embroidery, I gotta pass it. It's not gonna sell. It's gonna sit for too long. <clears throat> Teach of the way, sir. You already know. You already know. You gotta have a couple of trolls. You got you gotta you gotta talk to the trolls a little bit. You gotta you gotta try to inform them that they're wrong. I know a lot of people have their, their opinions on what I do, but again, I leave way more than I ever take. So and there's there's literally most of this is gonna end up in a landfill. So it's better to take it now instead of have it be in a landfill and nobody take it. What sizes sell best for men's large and bigger for shirts and then for shorts and pants i would say 36 and bigger sell a lot better than lower sizes but yeah brand really matters too if you could get a good enough brand it really doesn't matter the size here's a nice foot joy it does have an embroidery but it's a huge foot joy it has an embroidery there but it looks like it's in good condition so it's a size 2xl just a solid black. That little embroidery really won't make a difference, that one right there. So this will sell. We'll pick that up. For four bucks, too. That's not bad. Just all old navy. I see a lot of it. But I don't pick it up. All right, what's, what do we got on the overpriced rack today? Let's see, overpriced rack. OP, $9.99. CK, $19.99. Seven diamonds, $29.99. Ooh, that's a good one. Van Heusen, $12.99. Aeropostale, $19.99. Whoa. Bar 3, $19.99. Oh, these are all used, by the way. I'll... <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's only $5.99. Nautica, Nautica, $14.99. Round Tree in York for eight bucks. Ooh, this is this is a good one right here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pick this one. No, I'm just kidding. We're not picking it up. $19.99 for regular chaps. What is smoking? All right, back to uh, back to looking for the the good stuff and not worrying about that stuff. Ocean Pacific doesn't sell. No, it doesn't sell. Appreciate everybody hanging out. If you're not following, hit that follow button up in the top left hand corner. It's gonna notify you when you, when I go live and be hitting a few thrifts today. So if you're following, you'll get that notification. And then if you guys could tap the screen, we got 1.1K people in here. Let's get the 60K likes really quick. We're shooting for 200K on this stream. I think we can do it. We did it last week. We should be able to do it this week. So everybody tap the screen, send some likes. White shirts don't sell good for me. Yeah, um, white dress shirts do good for me, but just regular white shirts like polos, they have to have a good brand attached. Is this your job? Yeah, I do this full time. I was a mailman for eight years. I started doing this as a side hustle, and I made more money last year doing this part-time than I did working at the post office, so this year I quit, or last year I quit, December 10th. Tommy Hilfiger? No, I don't pick up Tommy Hilfiger, unless it's like a really, really good Tommy Hilfiger shirt. Mm -hmm. This is a performance Polo Ralph Lauren. Yeah, it's too plain. I would. This is something that you guys could pick up and make money on. It's just not worth it to me. I probably could only sell that for like 25. It might take a little bit to sell, so I'm gonna pass on it. But that's something like you guys in chat, if you were just starting out, that's something you could pick up. I'm very picky with my stuff. Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama Hawaiian shirts do good, not the polos. Don't pick up the polos unless they're super, super cheap. What are the, what do you say? What are, what are finger wraps used for? I've never seen them. Those finger cots that I, that I've made the video about, they're, they're so, your fingers, if they have cuts or uh, anything on them, you don't get them all over everything. Like it, it keeps, I also have really dry fingers and it makes, makes it so my fingers don't dry out. I don't use them while I'm thrifting. I only use them when I'm listing my items. Original penguin. No, I don't pick up original penguin. Not enough resale value. I mean, a lot of these brands are good brands. They just don't have resale value. What brands are best? Uh, my eBay store is linked in my bio. Go check out my eBay store, and you'll see what brands I am currently have listed, and those are the brands I'm hunting for, along with other brands that I don't currently have listed. Nope. Vineyard Vines, I'll pick up long sleeve dress shirts, um, but not polos anymore. Uh, Michael Kors, I don't pick up Michael Kors not men's Michael Kors. It's not, not worth it. 
Yeah, you use them with your massage because you work at ma in a, as a massage therapist. Yeah, I can see that. All right. There's another foot joy for three ninety nine. Looks to be in good condition. It's also two XL. This one has no embroidery on it, so we'll be picking this one up. Easy, easy money. Twenty five to thirty five. Foot joy polo. There's another Peter Millar. It does have an embroidery on the front. I think this one has a stain on it, if I can remember. I don't see a stain on it. Um, I might pick this one up. It's just got that small embroidery. It's a Peter Millar. Um, I'll make sure I look it over thoroughly before I buy it. It's only $5.99. It should go for like 25 bucks. Uh, do I come across any Nike dry fit shirts? Yeah, all the time. All right, let's go to the short section. Appreciate you guys getting me to 60K. Keep tapping that screen. If you're not following already, hit that follow button in the top left-hand corner. we still got like another 45 minutes in the store, so keep following, keep watching. I'm going to tell you guys everything I pick up, what I think it'll sell for. You'll see a bunch of stuff that I pass on. If you guys have any questions, leave them in chat. I, I, I'll try to answer as many as I can, but we got a ton of people in here right now. Um, where's the store? It's in St. Pete. St. Pete, Florida. City Thrift? No, this is Salvation Army. Where is the shop? It's St. Pete. Um, seven for All Mankind. I love picking up Seven for All Mankind men's jeans. I don't pick up women's unless they're Dojo Seven for All Mankind. And even then, they got to be a good price because recently those haven't been selling for me either. It'd be nice if I could find some Lululemon in my size right now. I need some more Lulus in my life. Who pays shipping um, for lighter weight items? I pay shipping for heavier items. Buyer pays shipping. Hook and tackle. Abercrombie, vintage, I pick up vintage Abercrombie. Newer styles I don't pick up. Do you wash only if they have stains or bad smells? Appreciate the stars, Adam Stanley. If you guys aren't following Adam, go give him a follow. Another great reseller in the chat. Do you sell sports cards? No, I don't sell sports cards. No, I'm not into sports cards. Do you worry about bed bugs? No, no. Bed bugs don't really hang out in clothing. <laughs> it's not really something they, they really prefer to hang out in. Obviously, if you're like have bed bug issue in your house already and you have clothing laying around, yes, they'll lay in it. But when it's hanging up like this, bed bugs don't normally stick around. Especially that most of this stuff is probably sat in either, it's probably sat in either a, um, a warehouse somewhere or it's basically come from a house put right on a rack and then the bed bugs are going to look for something else to go eat because they got to eat something right they can't just sit around they got to eat do you only resell clothing no i sell all kinds of stuff um but clothing is my forte pair of tommy bahama shorts these are reversible too like 5.99 <laughs> reversible Tommy Bahama shorts I've never seen these before you can wear them this way or you can wear them this way I'm going to pass them though not short season right now otherwise I'd probably pick those up um, how do you know the brands um, not showing all the shorts I'm just kind of looking at the brands when I pass through it's hard to show the brands when um, with shorts because they're not like really visible like this one like when I'm going through I'll, I'll peek at it like this I know you guys can't see it but I can these are under armor not worth picking up these are worth picking up though $5.99 all you got to do is look at the button and you see that these are car hearts flip them over there's the car heart emblem these are worth picking up these will go for um, probably like 35 even though they have a little bit of a pool right here, they'll still sell because Carhartt sells, even if it's damaged. <clears throat> uh, found a working vintage Westinghouse roaster in the trash. eBay, 
Nice, awesome. It's an awesome find. All right, let's go to the other side. Nobody's gonna pay 35, LOL. Uh, well, that cool kid, my eBay store is linked in my bio. You can go to my eBay store, you can filter for um, all of my sales and you can see that people pay the prices that I'm saying all the time. I got nothing to hide, homeboy. I, I'm, I'm not here to fool you. If you don't want to, if you don't want to do what I do, that's perfectly fine. There's probably, if you scroll to the right, there's probably a half naked girl. That's the next stream. So go, go watch that one. <laughs> What's up? What's up, uh, Ruth? <clears throat> um, how much can you make per month? In the beginning, it's pretty slow because obviously you got to build up inventory. But you can make a, you can make a living doing this because I do. Um, I don't make anything off social media, very, very little. So everything I make and how I provide for my family is from resell, reselling. All right, we're gonna come back to the short section because there's somebody else in the short section. All right, we'll come, we'll go to the pants and then we'll come back to those shorts because I don't wanna, I don't wanna compete in an aisle. You ever pick up something um, your own fashion? Yeah, I, I pick up, um, these are my favorite Lululemon shorts. I pick these up all the time. Anytime I find them, I'm gonna pick them up and uh, if they're my size, I keep them. I love Lululemon shorts, my fave. And the good thing about Lululemon shorts is um, sometimes you can find them at thrifts and thrift stores don't really know what they are. So they price them really, really low. Who's buying them, Stevie Wonder? Again, my eBay store is linked in my bio. <laughs> Tons of people buy this stuff. Appreciate everybody hopping in. If you're not following, hit that follow button in the top left-hand corner. It'll notify you when I go live. I'm going to hit a couple thrifts today. So um, if you're following, you'll get a notification. And then tap the screen. We got 1.8K people in here. We can hit 100K likes in like 10 minutes if everybody just taps the screen. We're, we're shooting for 200K on this, on this stream. Here's a good 511 Tactical. These go for like 35 bucks. These aren't the cargo ones. Though. I might pass on these. Yeah, these are just the dress pants. If these were cargo 511 tactical, I'd pick them up. But these are not cargo. These are just regular. So we're going to leave those. I like the cargo ones better. They sell a lot better. What is your estimated monthly net sales? Here we go. This is a cargo 511 tactical. Is this a women's though? Is that a women's large? Yeah. No, it's a waist large. Sorry. Okay, these are cargo. These I'll pick up. Seven ninety nine. These go for like thirty five bucks. I'll pick those up. Um, this month I should do like about twenty k in sales. Um, profit should be about eight to nine k, depending how the end of the month goes. But yeah, it should hit about twenty k in sales this month. I love watching you the other day when I was thrifting the hangers like you do. <laughs> yep. Appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you watching. All right, let's hit this side. Um, how do you organize everything? Come to my live tonight at 9.30. I do my lives out in my garage and that's where I keep all my inventory. So while I'm out there, I'll turn the camera and I'll show you exactly how I keep all my inventory organized. Because when I make a sale, it only takes me about 30 seconds to grab my inventory because I have everything organized so well. What brand are you? What brand are you? I feel like I've seen that label before. Um, Incotex? I don't know if that's a good brand. Incotex. I'm going to leave it. I'll look it up. I'll come back to it if I, I want to pick it up. J. Crew. I don't pick up J. Crew unless they are jeans and they have the Kahari denim in them. Or Kahara. Kahara denim. Kahara. Something like that. However you pronounce that word. That was only J. Crew. I made a video about that earlier this week on this, uh, on this TikTok account. Does North Face sell? Yes, it does. I love picking up North Face. I live in Florida, so I don't find North Face too often. Um, any key name brands you're looking for specifically? I have a bunch that I'm looking for. My eBay store is linked in my bio. If you want to go check out my eBay store, and everything that's listed in my eBay store is pretty much what I'm out on the look, uh, out on the hunt for. Um, also, I'm not sending you to my eBay store to buy anything. I really don't want you to buy anything. Um, I'm just sending you there so you can look at what I'm selling. So don't feel inclined to actually buy anything because I, I don't want to sell to uh to viewers i'd rather sell the normal people that want my stuff 
you have a limit on price per item? No, I, I pay up for stuff. If it's a good enough brand, I, I can pay upwards to $100 if it's going to sell for like $300. Who buys clothes from eBay? A ton of people. Um, I remember when I first started, I had a bunch of people that I used to work with used to say the same thing. Who's, who's going to buy clothes on eBay? You're crazy. And now I do this for a full-time job. So there's tons of people that buy clothing on eBay, even use clothing on eBay. Are you saying that we're not normal? Well, I mean, not that. I mean, I want to sell them to people that are actually looking for the items. The reason I don't want viewers to buy them is because if I just sold to viewers, then it would make make it seem like you need a follower followership to be able to do this. And that's what I don't want people to, to feel like you need a followership to actually sell online. Because all of my sales come from people that are just looking for the items. If it... If that was the case, it would make this look not legit, and that's what I don't want to happen. People would be like, oh, I gotta have, you know, 100,000 followers to actually do stuff. I'm like, no, you don't need it. You don't need any followers, to be exact. I sell clothing on eBay, so do I. <clears throat> um, he's just an honest guy. I try. I try. I try to be. Um, those are Polo Ralph Lauren. You can see that right there, but I don't pick up Polo. Polo pants. There's another pair of those. Um, I don't know if those are good. I have to come back and check those out. No, I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook. I sell on multiple platforms. Appreciate everybody hanging out. If you're not following, you know what to do. Hit that follow button. I'm going to be hitting a couple thrifts today. So if you're following, you'll get a notification. We have 1.6K people in here. If everybody taps the screen, we can get to 100K likes real fast. Real fast. I still got like another 30 minutes in the store, so we might be able to hit 200K. Appreciate you, Lorenzo. Lorenzo's in the house. Uh, when will the clothes you're shopping for today go up for sale? Um, probably later on this week, because I, I got a backlog of inventory right now. I'll find any of Jerbo, I wish. I love picking up Jerbojans. They sell really fast too. This is actually um, one of the stores I find the most Jerbo in. I love Dixon Flannels, so do I. I've never found one in the thrift. See what I see? Versace. These aren't the good ones though. I think this the regular Versace is good. These are vintage. Um, I'll have to look these up. I don't think Gianni Versace is good. I think just regular Versace is good, but I don't know off the top of my head. I have to look these up. I don't know if I, I don't know if the, those are good. I think just regular Versace because that doesn't have any Versace on them. But I'll, I'll pick them up. I'll look them up at the end of the thrift and see if they're worth it. Versace, Versace. Maybe Gianni Versace is a vintage. Yeah, I'm not. I'll pick them up. I'll look them up. Sometimes vintage. Vintage, um, like high-end stuff like that, sometimes doesn't do good. It's all the new stuff that people want, but we'll pick them up. They look like they're in good condition. Um, do you list single items? Yes, I use a cross-listing service. It's called List Perfectly. It's linked in my bio. If you wanted to sign up for it, you can use my link to sign up. Uh, do you find anything in pockets ever? I, fun fact, I've actually never found any like money or anything in pockets. There's a lot of people that say they have. Um, I, I am not one of those lucky people. I've never found anything in the pockets. What time zone? Eastern. I'm in Florida. I'm in Florida. Almost 200k likes. Tap the screen. We can get there. We still got um, a couple more sections in the men's section to hit, and then we still got the women's section too. And then I'll, I'll go over everything that I have in my cart at the end of the at the end of the thrift. The thrift alive. Found 20 in a book. Man, you're lucky. I want to find 20 bucks. I'm sure people just come to thrift stores and just check all the pockets. I'm sure you can find money in these pockets if you do. Um, how often do you shop? Um, right now I'm shopping at least two to three times a week. Two to three times a week. Another pair of Tommy Bahamas. That nothing. Another pair of Tommy Bahamas shorts. My brother found $100 in a book. 
Man, these guys are lucky. Did he split it with you, or did he just keep it for himself? Um, do you stick to stores, nicer areas, or go to all? I go to all. Sometimes the store is in the worst off air. Ooh. Ooh. I haven't found Rock Revival in a very long time. Easy money. Easy money. That's crazy. Let's go. Rock Revival at the Thrift. Live. That's awesome. That's a good. That's a good find. That's an, an amazing find. That's like those go for like sixty bucks. Easy peasy. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? All the stuff by. What do you mean? What are you meaning when you say what you say? Um, looks like money. It does. It looks like a lot of money. Wait, missed it. What pants are those? They're just shorts, but they're. Good old Rock Revival shorts for a whopping $5.99. This is an excellent brand to be on the lookout for. These will go for like 60 bucks. Really great price. What are your best sellers? Um, I think Felix looked this up the other day. I think it's um, Tommy Bahama currently because I just have so many listed. I can't believe I just found freaking uh, Rock Revivals in the thrift. That's insane. For $5.99. Oof. Oof. Um, do you sell Halloween costumes? No, but next year I think I am because I've been seeing some people sell some Halloween costumes for some crazy money. So I didn't know Halloween costumes could resell for some crazy money, but I learned from people on TikTok. And now I'm going to be looking for those next year because uh, some some of you selling these these costumes for like hundreds of dollars. I didn't know they could do you could do such things. Appreciate you guys getting me to 100k. Tap the screen, send some likes if you're not following. You know what to do. Hit that follow button be going live a few times today so if you're following you'll be getting notifications as soon as i go live what brand is this mm, nothing all right now that we found those now that we found those i gotta look through the other short section too this should be illegal why should it be illegal let why should this be illegal This should be illegal. He's stealing from the poor. No. I can't wait to get done with this last rack and show that person how much I've actually left behind. You sell on eBay or Etsy? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace. If it's your first time here, go through some of my videos really quick. Come back. It'll, you'll probably understand kind of what I'm doing um, if you watch some of my videos. There's so much for everyone. Exactly. I like the way you think. I don't see anything. I was hoping that there was going to be a pair of rock revivals up in the corner. All right, let's check one more section and then we'll be good to go. I forgot to check the, uh, the good old jacket section, the high-priced jackets. Let's see, what's this? Does it have a brand on it? I don't know brand. It's just, just a blank. I'm going to try to show you guys the labels of these, but they're up high. It's kind of hard to, to show the labels. Last time I found a uh, Patagonia jacket over here, so hopefully I can have the same kind of luck. Sorry if you can't see the labels, it's super hard to show. Wolf Brothers of Florida. Never seen that label before. Herman's. I thought this was an Ohio State jacket. It's not, it's an NYC jacket. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. Bunch of junk bunch of junk. All right, let's go to the women's section. Encotex? Where? Where do I miss Encotex? Where, where is it? What is it? Where, where am I looking for the Encotex? Is it in the jackets? Pants? Encotex? Which color? Which color were they? In the shorts or the pants? Okay, what, what color were they? I can't remember where I hit pants last way over here. The text was pants tan. Tan pants. They were shorts. Shorts, okay. In Kotex. Hmm. Alright. Were they at the beginning or the end of the aisle? 
they were in this one. Uh, let's see. They were pants. Pants, okay. If, I, if they were just something that I just did, they're gonna be down here. All right, we'll go through the pants and we'll go through the shorts again. These aren't Incotex, right? Those can't be Incotex. Um, all right, we'll go through the shorts. Khaki dress pants, no, it was earlier. They said when you first started, okay. So down here. Shout out chat, you guys are, you guys are awesome. You guys are lifesavers. All right, we'll go through, if they're not here, then we'll go through the, uh, the other, the pants as well five minutes ago okay we'll go through the um we'll go through the pants too if they're not in the short section we'll go through the pants it's the pants you were going to look up later oh pants okay i know what you're talking about These. You're talking about these, right? Are they these? I don't see the label on these. Yes, okay. That's the case. There we go. Okay, wait. Because if we have one, we have two. Where was that other one? There was another one over here somewhere. I think it was in this section. There we go. Shout out chat. You guys are awesome. Boom. I had a feeling these were worth money and I was going to come back and look at them because I've never found Incotex before, but I heard that brand. For some reason it rung a bell and that's why I said I was going to come back, but two pairs. Two pairs. Shout out chat. Look at you guys. Look at you guys. I owe you guys dinner. <laughs> um, now I feel like I should go through the rest of these because I, um, I might have missed another pair. Go chat. Yeah, go chat. Tap the screen for chat. You guys are awesome. I feel like I missed a pair. Did I go through this section? I don't know if I did. Uh, oh well, there's another pair. I'll find it next week. Good job, chat. What is, what does Incotex go for? What do they, uh, what do they resell for? Does anybody know? Wolf Brothers jacket. Get the jacket. What's the, how much is the jacket worth? Oh my god. I feel like a shitty thrifter right now. Two hundred plus for the Wolf Brothers jacket. Wow. See, this is what sucks when I'm when I'm live streaming. I can't look stuff up on my phone. And then this is why I have you guys. This is why I have you guys. Hold on. Where is it at? So this jacket's good. Oh, the power just went out. So you're telling me this jacket's good? Gosh, they're expensive. Wolf, Wolf Brothers High End, is it worth picking up for $24.99 though? Vintage, yes, okay. I'll look it up at the end of the thrift, but we'll throw it in there just to make you guys happy. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hell yes, okay. It kind of looked, kind of looked nice too when I saw it. All right, let's go to the women's section. I'm tired of missing men's stuff. I feel like a shitty men's thrifter. <laughs> How much does it sell for? I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up at the end of the thrift. But everybody's telling me to go back. 75, I'm betting. Okay. Going for around 200. Let's go. It's so much fun. Thank you for streaming. No problem. Thank you, guys. You guys, what is the... Um, I don't know if somebody said it already, but what is uh, what is Incotex resell for, for used? Does anybody know what does Incotex go for? 
is way more fun than making tutorials. I agree. Lots of money today, I know. Ton. Love this. Appreciate you guys. 40 to 100. Let's go. Okay, that's good. I think they're only uh, 7 bucks. 200 plus? Well, I know they retail for that. Is, that. is that what they resell for? 40 to 50? Okay, that's what I figured. Still, still good profit. All right, let's go and hit the women's shoe section. See if there's any good shoes. These are ultras. Good pickup. They only want $8.99 for these. Let's make sure there's no, there's no ripping. It's a good brand. Ultras, you guys know Ultras? These are really good. They sell really fast too. Throw those in the cart. 150 and holy cow chat i i owe you i owe you big time you guys you guys just saved my life i would have left those behind that jacket and those incotex well i probably would have went back for the incotex but the jacket you guys saved my life all right let's see Every, everybody knows about these right we're gonna see they're not worth picking up usually oh these might be good these might be good So Skechers shape-ups, they tend to dry rot. If you press right here, this one's actually might be good. These might be good. You always test them. You always push right here on this part. And sometimes the foam will break, but if they don't break, they're worth picking up because they will actually sell. Yeah, they look new. They look in good condition, but uh, they're not breaking. So that's one good sign. Like I'm pushing as hard as I can and the foam's not breaking. So. We're good. They're $14.99, but these sell for like 60 bucks. I try not to pick those up because normally they're they don't last, but those ones look like they'll be good. So we'll pick those up. They're they're a gamble. They're a gamble. Let's see what else we got here. Nine West. What you're going to make 20. Okay, I'll make 20. I'll take 20 bucks all day. I'll pick these up too. $6.98 for a pair of Keen sandals. These sell super fast. Easy to ship too. You just throw these in a padded flat rate. So we'll take those. I need to stop picking up shoes though because I never list them. Do you ever go to places like Play-Dohs? Yes, I do. Um, I have one store that I might, I might actually hit up Play-Dohs today and I might live stream it when I'm there. I thought those were another pair, but they're not. Let's see what else we got. What are these? Oh, this is... I believe this is a good brand. Yes, it is. It's another good brand, I believe. I picked up jackets by this brand. Somebody tell me that's a good brand. I'm pretty sure Pajar is a good brand. We'll throw those in the cart because I'm pretty sure that is. I don't find winter items too often here, but I've sold jackets for like 200 bucks. Yeah. Whoops. I'm dropping stuff. My cart's too full. All right, we're good. Jar. Pajar is, yeah. That's, I knew that was going to be a good brand. I've picked up jackets retail and I've resold them for profit. Those are 10, I want them. Um, they are a size eight. Looks like a size eight. Sorry, it's not focusing. Dang, I can't read it. Yeah, eight to eight and a half. Eight to eight and a half. All right, let's head to the women's section. Appreciate everybody hanging out. If you're not following, hit that follow button in the top left-hand corner. It'll notify you when I go live. Um, let's get to 200K likes. We got we got enough people in here that if everybody taps the screen while I'm in the women's section, we'll hit 200K. How much are you going to sell them for? I don't know. I got to look them up. I've never actually found Pajar boots. What do they want for them? I didn't even check. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to pick them up. Um, they want $19.99 for them. I'm going to look them up, make sure it's worth it, but I believe it is. Appreciate the followers that are coming in. Trying to hit... 
two, uh, 20K followers by the end of today. I think if I go live enough times, I'll do it. I'll hit, I'll hit the followers that I want. $200. Nice. Yo, we're finding some good stuff today. We're finding some good, not worth it. What, uh, how much should I go for, Felix? This thrift store is expensive. Yeah, there's, there's some items that are and some items that aren't. You just got to find the good stuff. What's up, Juliet? If you guys aren't following Juliet, go give her a follow. Juliet finds. She's in the chat. You just got to find her name. It's part of her name. You got to find her. Especially when we got this many people hanging out with us. You make 30s on those boots easy? Okay, we'll take 30 on those boots. <coughs> Worth it for jar, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll pick them up. Probably somebody in chat will end up buying them anyway because we got enough, we've got enough girlies in the chat that are interested in those boots right now. Can, can. Do you wash stuff before you sell it? No. Only if it has stains or bad smells. It's a big size pair of no to the boots. I'll look them up after. I'll keep them in the car just in case. Um, twin vintage dating. What did twin vintage dating say? You'll make way more than 30? Okay. I'll look them up. I'll look them up. I'm from Florida, but I'm in New Jersey. My husband's job. My, uh, the thrifts here are awesome in New Jersey. Oh, are you in Florida? Sorry, I might have misread that. Oh, you're, you're in New Jersey? I want to travel. Next year, I'm, or, yeah, next year I'm going to travel a lot more. I'm going to hit more thrifts. I want, to, I want to start traveling and do YouTube videos and hit different thrift stores and maybe, maybe meet up with a few um, resellers and do some collabs with them. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. A pair of Big Star jeans for $7.99. These are blank ones. If they have back pocket bling, I'd, I'd do it, but not enough. Not enough for those. Go to California. I want to go everywhere. I want to go to Texas. I want to go to California. I want to go to Virginia because Virginia, I've heard, has really good thrifts. Um, I want to travel everywhere. With a job like this, I can actually do it. I just got to get my reselling business um, up and running very, very efficiently. And then I can hire some people. And then basically, I can just travel and do vlogs type, type stuff while I have workers in the background listing my stuff. That's eventually what I want to get to. Colorado, I've heard Colorado thrifts are amazing. Colorado, um, the Colorado bins, I think is like one of the best bins from what I've heard. Do you do this full time? Yes, I do this full time. Live thrift war. Let's go. We can do a live thrift war. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. Me and another, um, reseller doing live thrifting in the same store. No, Julia, you're a rock star. <clears throat> Who's on Mercari a ton? Um, but only from 20 to 60. Okay, we'll look them up. If they're not worth it, I'll put them back. If they're only going for 20 to 60, then it's, it's not worth it. But we'll look them up. We'll look them up. Near Seattle, I wanna, I wanna try the bins there. I don't go to the bins. That's one thing I don't do. I, I don't like the bins, but I mean, maybe I'll try them in other areas, but the bins here, they're just not worth it. Um, are you going to red, white, and blue? Not today. I'm going to go to red, white, and blue on Friday. Friday. 50 on eBay. Okay. I might put them back. I'm probably going to put them back, but we'll keep them in there just in case. Just in case one of you guys in chat are trying to make me put them down so you can come and scoop them up. I know what you're trying to do, chat. Um, we'll go through these jeans in a second. I want to go through the, the sweaters. Although they moved them. They moved the sweaters. Where do they move them to? Is this the only sweater section they have now? They used to have two sweater sections here. Looks like they moved sweaters. Oh, I thought that might have been Lulu. Wait, where do they move the sweaters to? Um, sweaters used to be here. And now, I don't know where they moved them to. Maybe they moved them to the front of the store. Let's go take a peek. Um, anyone know if Michigan has good stores? I don't know. Does anybody in chat know? Michigan has good stores. Okay, they couldn't have got rid of the sweater section mid. Okay, here it is. I was about to say, they literally moved it from the back to the front. 
probably because it's that time of year for these to sell. Let's go over here. Let's start here and we'll work our way the other way. Anybody need this for, for uh, Christmas time? Keep tapping the screen. Yeah, we're almost 150K. We're going to hit 200K by the end of this stream. We'll do it. We will do it. Are you in a... No, I'm, I'm in a um, Salvation Army. I don't even know what Cram, Crams is. Never heard of that store. Here's another one. You guys want that one? Holiday time? Peace. What brands are you looking for? I'm looking for brands with good resale value. There's tons of them out there. If you go to my eBay store, you'll see like what I'm currently selling. And those are the brands I'm pretty much looking for. Christopher, man, they got a lot of Christmas sweaters here. What city are you in? I'm in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida right now. <clears throat> my, my pants are stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. There we go. Hanger caught me. Appreciate the corn. Um, my store sweater section is all Nike Roots and Puma. Yeah, I get a lot of that here too. Thanks for the corn bearded. Um, are those good to resell? Depend. Um, I mean, if I pick it up, it's it's good for resell. Although the women's section is probably the one section that I'll need the most help in because I don't really do women's too often. But I'm I'm good enough to where I can I can pick out a few good things. Joe Fresh, don't know Canadian Camps Donation Center. Feed the homeless. Okay, I've, we don't have them here in Florida. We don't have those here in Florida. Cutter and Buck. Yeah, women's section is dry. Cabby. Some somebody would probably pick this up, but I'm not gonna do it. You can't convince me to go back either. It's not gonna happen. Um, do you have a go in purses? No. I'm not a much of a purse connoisseur, but um, bearded thrifter actually. He wears purses quite often. I hear he's really good at finding really good purses. So hit up Bearded Thrifter if you want a nice purse. He'll help you out with that. What's the red jacket? Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to go back either. <laughs> I am a uh, red jacket. That's the red jacket. Is this is a John. It looks like a John Deere logo. That's the red jacket. That's the one you're talking about. Purses can sell for a lot. Yeah, I used to sell purses. Um, I used to sell um, Dooney and Burke purses. No, the dress one. Which dress one? This one? Colors? I don't see a red dress shirt. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to go back either. Alright, we're finding nothing here. Um, I came with my Chanel Coco for five dollars from my local thrift. Let's go! Awesome. Did you uh, did you sell it or did you keep it? Bearded thrifter would one hundred percent kept that for himself. Oh, man, bearded left. Bearded left right when I started making fun of him. Damn it. Bearded's at work right now. That's why he had to leave. Anthropology does great for you. Nice. I'm only looking for like really high-end women's stuff because I really hate women's listing women's items. I give you guys all the power to list that stuff and congratulate you on if you can because me, I hate listing women's items. It's like the worst thing to list. Somebody, I, I say this every time, nobody's even convinced me the difference between a blouse, a top, and a shirt. I still don't understand what the difference between those are. Who are you going to bully now? Felix, you're next. Phyllis is next. Um, let's go through the sweaters really quick. We got one more section of sweaters and then we'll go back and hit up the leggings um, and move on from there. Almost 250K likes. Tap the screen, send me some likes. Get to 150K real quick. I don't know if we're gonna hit 200K now. We're, we're kind of dipping in the numbers. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. That's okay. If we don't hit 200K, it's fine. 150K is awesome. 
Um, it's all about the buttons. It's all about the buttons. Put that on a shirt. Um, genuine leather wallet, wallets sell really well. Nice. That's another section I don't hit is the wallet section. Hardly ever hit wallets. What city are you in? I'm in um, um, St. Pete right now. St. Pete, Florida. 150K, let's go. Let's go. All right, next goal, 200K. 207 is my record. 207 likes. So that would be pretty insane to hit. It'd be pretty insane. I don't own the things for less foreign than can afford nice things. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, um, if you go look at the men's section that I just hit, well, it's too, too far away from now from where I am right now. But there's literally like... Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what to count. Probably like at least a good 10,000 items sitting over there. So there's plenty to go around. Would you pay $14 for Robert Graham? It depends on the pattern. If it's a decent pattern one, yeah, I can. I mean, there's times where I've spent, you know, 50, 60 bucks on a Robert Graham. If it's the right pattern, the right colorway. See all the awesome things. I love. I'm going to hide Oh, Yeah. What's up, Trisha? Trisha's popping in. How's VK going, Trisha? Not sure buttons, blouse, does not. Okay. But what about a top? What about a top? How do you figure out those? I thought those, did I go through this section already? I can't remember if I went through this jean section. I think I did. Screw it, I'm not gonna do it again if I did. I'm just gonna glance. Pretty sure I did. Let's go through the, the, um, pants and then we'll go through the uh, leggings try to look for some aloe and some lulus you cross post yeah i cross post on ebay poshmark macari facebook marketplace all those sites is where i list all my items too do lucky jeans sell well they do if they're men's i don't pick up women's lucky brand jeans unless you can find them super cheap but in my area they're like seven bucks a piece and it's not worth it not enough profit for me opposite of oh, the bottom okay we're learning we're learning top is opposite of the bottom it's a good one if you sell much Woolrich I, I look for vintage Woolrich I don't look for newer age Woolrich because it doesn't sell as well um, but yeah I'll pick up like vintage Woolrich like 100% wool stuff it sells for like hundreds of dollars if you get the right stuff beach towels nah I'm good not my, not my forte. Ooh, there we go. This is why we always check the women's section. Ladies and gents, $7.99. These are seven for all mankind, but these are men's seven for all mankind. I know it because standard is a men's style. Um, what size are these? These are also a size 38. I have no clue why these are in the women's section, um, but these go for like 40 to 50 bucks, seven for all mankind jeans. So that was a pretty awesome scoop. I'm glad I went through this section. Yep, good size. Yep, 38 is an excellent size for, for men's. How about 60s toys? Do they sell? I'm sure they do. I mean, certain brands probably sell for good money. But um, I don't do much toys. If you want to know about toys, um, there's a person on TikTok. Her name is MD Picker. She's the one you need to talk to about toys. Do you do kids' clothes? No, I don't do any kids' clothes. 175k likes let's go let's go find much guess um vintage guess is the only guess i pick up but i don't really find too much of it in my area to be honest joe's jeans these are women's i believe let's see the size yeah these are size 31 are these men's or women's these might actually be men's if they're men's i'm gonna pick them up let's see the style name doesn't have a style name on it. I'm trying to look for the style name. I think these are, I'm pretty sure these are men's. I'm almost certain those are men's. If I remember the tag correctly, I believe those are men's. Cut looks like men's. Yeah, I think it's men's. We'll pick it up for $7.99. Um, these are smaller size, but they will go for like 35 to 40. All right, let's go. We're hitting some men's stuff in the women's section. Shout out to whoever stocked this, hiding all the good stuff for me. Yep, men's okay, yeah. I figured they were. What brand are you? Oh, Columbia. I thought this one might have been North Face. 
We got a full cart today, ladies and gents. Joe's are like $20 jeans, not for men's. Men's Joe's jeans sell really well. They sell a lot better than um, women's. And they retail. Those jeans retail for like 198 bucks. It's kind of insane what they retail for. And people actually pay that. Columbia sells a lot. Yeah, but the Columbia here is too expensive. At five bucks, I mean, I probably could get like 25 for them. But um, it's, it's not worth my time to list. Cinch, I love picking up cinch, cinch jeans. Love finding cinch items. Not used? What do you mean? You mean Joe's jeans? Not used? I sell Joe's jeans all the time for 40 to 50 bucks. So, I mean, if you're listening for 20 and you're selling for 20, kudos to you, but you're missing out on a cool $20. Your hands get sore? No. My arm gets a little sore from holding my phone, but my hands don't get sore, no. They do get uh, they do get dry, though. By the end of my, my thrifting, I have to, like, use lotion to get my hands back in order because my hands dry out. My fingertips do. How did you start this? I started um, going... Um, I watched a bunch of videos online from Rally Roots who go to thrift stores and they buy stuff to resell, and then I fell in love with it, and then I started doing this myself. And, uh, but I, I watched thousands of hours of YouTube videos before I ever walked step foot in a thrift. And I highly suggest you guys do the exact same. Does Calvin Klein do well? No. No, I don't pick up Calvin Klein. All right, let's go through the leggings. Um, actually, let's go through the this pant section really quick. Because we found a bunch of men's. So we might as well go through this section really quick too. I always know who's a reseller at the thrift store. By the way, they go through the hangers. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, same, 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 same. All right, let me move my cart out of the way. Try to go through these really quick. 192. Yeah, we're at almost 200k. We're gonna we're gonna break the record. 200k likes in one stream. 207 is my record. You guys are absolutely insane. Insane. Everybody in this store probably thinks I'm crazy. Do you source from garage sales? No, I live in Florida. I know that sounds crazy that I don't go to garage sales because we have garage sales year round, but I get enough inventory from thrift stores where I really don't have to go to garage sales. Here's a pair of AG. Let's see what size they are. The size is gonna tell you if I'm gonna pick these up or not. They're 28, ugh, it's right on the edge. I'm probably gonna leave them. They're eight bucks. I'll probably get like 30 bucks for those, so I'm gonna leave them. Good brand though. If you find AG in bigger sizes, they're worth picking up, but not not, uh, not worth it in a size 28. They'll only go for like 30, 30 bucks, and I'm just not interested in turning $8 into $30. Not my forte. Yes, AG, yeah. Uh, AG men's jeans though, if you pick up AG men's jeans, 50 bucks all day. Women's just don't sell for as much as men's do in AG. Look at that, 206K. Let's go. Do American Eagle jeans sell well? Um, yes, but you have to get them cheap. You have to get them cheap. That's a big profit, though. 30, 8 to 30 after fees ship in. When I say 30, that means I'm paying shipping, too. So um, 8 to 30 is not a decent enough profit after all fees, shipping, cost of goods. Um, I work at Goodwill. We can never sell extremely pricey China. Do they not resell? Um, no. China is really hard. You have to have the right stuff. Appreciate you guys. Oh my God, you guys killed it. 212K likes. Let's go. New record. New record. Where are you selling this? I'm selling on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. That's where I list everything too. All right, let's go through the leggings really quick. It looks like they restock, so we might actually get lucky and find some stuff. After the leggings section, I'll go through all of my finds really quick with you guys, and then um, we'll pack up and we'll get ready to go to the next store. And then I'll start my next live. So if you're following, hit, if you're not following, hit that follow button because you'll get a notification as soon as I hit my next store. 
which should be like 15 to 20 minutes after I leave this one. <clears throat> frozen? I shouldn't be frozen. If I'm frozen, it might be you, because I got, I got connection. All right, we're gonna skim through this pretty quick. I know what I'm looking for. So it might be bad for you guys to see everything, but um, I don't feel like sitting in the leg legging section for too long. These look like Lulu's. Are they Lulu's? We will never know, because there's no label on them. They look like Lulu's. Anybody know this pattern, and if it's Lululemon? I can't find a logo on these at all. I don't think so. Pass, yeah. I don't think they're Lulu's. I don't see a logo on them. They look like Lulu's. Check pockets. Yeah, it's a smart idea. Um, nope, they're not Lulu's. They have a tag on the inside of the pocket. Not a... Uh, not a uh, circular tag. Shout out Juliet. See, I suck at women's clothing. <laughs> I should have known. I should have went right for the pocket. If I was a smart guy, I would have went right for the pocket. If you guys aren't following Juliet, go give her a follow. I guess they put the tag in the pocket, yeah. I, I should have known to look for the pocket. So it shows you how many leggings I, I find on a regular basis. I really suck at leggings. Probably because I get so bored that I'm just skimming so fast. I'm missing some good stuff. The only re reason the other week I found aloe leggings here is because they were right at the end of the aisle. That's the only reason I found them. They were literally like shouting to me, like, pick me up. Otherwise, I would have I missed them completely. Do you make this decent money on TikTok? No. TikTok doesn't pay its creators very well. But I think in the future they might because they got to compete with other platforms. But right now, TikTok does not pay creators very well at all. The, the only real money that I get is from viewers. TikTok to, doesn't pay anything for, for views. So I think that might change in the future. They're gonna have to compete somehow. Oh man, I thought that was Lulu. All right. We're gonna skim really fast because I really hate the leg legging section. Sometimes I hit good stuff here and other times I don't. All right, let's go through my finds. I'm, I'm tired of leggings. I'm tired of leggings. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I'll scoot this out of your way. Um, do you Facebook, you'll get paid. Yeah, I do Facebook. I do Facebook. I've made more off Facebook in the two months I've done Facebook than I have on TikTok in the one year I've done TikTok. YouTube's channels you suggest to learn. Um, I watch Rally Roots um, for clothing. True Religion, seven ninety nine. Pass. Too small of a size. I don't sell True Religion in size twenty six. But I watch um, Rally Roots. I really don't watch too much YouTube anymore. I really just watch TikToks. I mean, there's a ton of creators here on TikToks that do really, really well, really, really good videos. So follow the people on TikTok. That, uh, that make good videos. If you, if people in chat right now, if you make TikTok videos about reselling, leave a smiley face down in the chat below and then follow everybody that leaves a smiley face. Easy peasy. All right, let's go over my finds really quick. Here is a pair of Joe's jeans. $7.99, men's Joe's jeans. Really, really nice. These go for, again, I'd say 35 to 45, a little bit of a lower size. All right, go follow everybody that's leaving smiley faces. Those are all the people you want to follow. You'll learn a lot more on TikTok than you will on um, YouTube right now. Seven for All Mankind. These are men's Seven for All Mankind at $7.99. I get roughly around 40 to 45 for these, sometimes a little bit higher. It's a better size, so I might shoot for 50. Um, we'll go over the shoes at the end. So let me move the shoes down to the bottom. I don't know if I'm keeping most of these shoes. Well, I don't know about the jar. The other ones I'll keep. Hang on, sorry. Gotta move these. All right. Um, hang on, I got another pair of shoes I gotta move. All right. All right, somebody chat told me to go back and get this. I guess this is a really good brand. They want $24.99 for it, but I guess this is a good brand. 
It does have some staining on the front, but I think that'll come out with a wash. Doesn't look too bad. Wolf Brothers, I gotta look this up after the stream, see if it's worth picking up. But chat told me it was good, so I trust you, chat. All right, next two items I picked up. Chat also helped me out with these, $5.99. The brand is Incotex. I was going to go back and look these up after the stream, but somebody said go back and pick these up because these are really, really good. Incotex. There's the back tag you're looking for, and then you go on the inside. I don't know what these resell for, but somebody said 60, 70 bucks. So I'm thinking 60, 70 bucks. And I got another pair right here. Same price, $5.99. Incotex pants. Um, let me move these shoes out of the way gotta find some room here let me put them off to the side i'll just pick them up in a second all right one of my favorite brands to find easily my favorite brand to find rock revival and look what we paid for these five dollars and 99 cents these are a pair of men's they're a size 32 should be able to get right around 60 bucks for these should be right right around 60 bucks incotex 30 to 50 okay still worth picking up at um at five at five bucks Here's another item I gotta look up, Gianni Versace. These are vintage Versace, $7.99. Looks like a wool pair of wool pants. I gotta look at the inside label. But um, I'm gonna look these up and see what they sell for. Might be worth picking up. Wolf Brothers, 15 to 60 bucks. Again, I'm gonna look those up too after the live. I'm just, I'm just following what chat said, but I've learned my lesson. I have to uh, look this stuff up at the end. Pair of 511 Tactical, $7.99. Cargos do a lot better should be able to get right around 30 to 35 for these grab versace yeah i'm gonna grab it just looked up 40 to 100 yeah i'm gonna look everything up don't worry all right these are a pair of men's carhartt carhartt jean shorts should be able to get like 35 for those sell carhartt all the time one of my favorite favorite brands to sell Peter Millar Summer Comfort, $5.99. It has an embroidery on the front, but I should be able to get like 30 to 35 for this and it'll sell pretty quick. Versace all day. Versace, Versace, Medusa head on me like I'm Luminati. Um, Footjoy, $3.99. Looks to be in good condition. Should be able to get 30 to 35 for that one. Another Footjoy, $3.99. Again, should be able to get 30 to 35 for this one. What website do you be selling? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. This is a Ralph Lauren. Even though the label's coming off, it'll still sell. Um, good condition on the outside, just the label came off on the inside. But 30 bucks for that, 30 bucks. Should sell pretty quick too. This is another shirt I wish it didn't have an embroidery on the front. It's a Bugatti shirt. Has that embroidery, so it's gonna hurt the value a little bit, but I still should be able to sell this pretty quick for 20 to 25 because it's got a good pattern on the front. Um, Bugatti polos actually sometimes sell faster and better than the long sleeve shirts because they're harder to find. Tip, tip, tip. Stay away from Footjoy. I sell Footjoy all the time. Um, if you sell on if you sell on Facebook Marketplace, Footjoy sells really fast on Facebook. $5.99, another Footjoy. This one's blank, just has a, a stripe pattern, but there's no embroideries on it anywhere. So $25, $30. Bucks. Footjoy sells great. Yes, it does. It does. It does for me, at least. Another good brand to be on the lookout for, Untuck It, $5.99. Just a solid black Untuck It. Should go for right around $30, $35. Solid black always does really well. Here's a nice one, Tory Richard, size large, $7.99, but it's got an awesome print. And I believe it's silk. I think they cut the tag out, but I'm almost certain this is silk. Feels like silk. Really good pattern. This will go for like 40, 40 or more because of the pattern. And it's silk. Another Tory Richard. This one's a cotton Tory, Tory Richard. Should be able to get like right around 35 bucks for this one. 35. Really nice pattern to it. These sell really well. Um, I know I tell everybody I don't pick up Brooks Brothers. There are a few exceptions. One of them is if the Brooks Brothers is made out of linen. This is 100% linen, $7.99, but it's got a nice print and it's linen. So that's why I'm picking it up. This should sell for 30 to 35 pretty quick. Here's a brand that doesn't sell for crazy money, but does sell pretty fast, especially in this style. These are a pair of Piranha shorts. Really nice. 
that's a fluff don't worry it's not a stain um, 25 to 30 pretty quick pretty quick last but not least for clothing we have a pair of vintage levi's the way i can tell these are vintage is if you look at that inside tag right there it says made in the usa whoops if i can get it to come out it says made in the usa trust me it says made in the usa right there so i know that these are true vintage levi's yeah i don't look at tees i don't look at tees okay for shoes for shoes we have a pair of Skechers shape ups i did the test i pushed all through these they're not cracking in any way um these are 14.99 i should be able to get right around 60 bucks for these because the shape ups they don't make these anymore if anybody knows they don't make these anymore as long as they're in good condition they will sell um got a pair of women's ultra shoes ultra right there ultra and these are eight dollars and 99 cents um, I don't know what this style goes for, but I've sold ultras upwards to $80. This might be one of the lower end styles, maybe 40 to 50 bucks, I would say on the low end. Ultra's really great sell through. Um, got a pair of Keen sandals. Um, they only want $6.99 for these. I think, no, yellow's half off, not green. But um, these sell for like 25 bucks, um, free shipping. Sell really fast, so I'll pick those up. And then these, I gotta look up. These are a pair of Pajar um, boots. I gotta look them up. I don't really know if I'm gonna pick these up yet because they want 20 bucks for these, I believe. Yeah, $19.99. Um, I think I should be able to sell these for, I don't know, if they're good, probably like 100, but I gotta look up comps. They might be, they might be less than 100. People in chat are telling me 40. Some people are telling me 100. I'm gonna look them up. But yeah, that's the haul right there. That's the haul pretty decent haul today all at one store and i go to the store every week and i get a haul like this pretty much every week so shout out to this store it's really really good store but boots are 50 to 70 yeah if they're 50 to 70 i'm gonna end up leaving them because i'm not paying 20 dollars to sell something versace price um hit me up on ig if you're interested in the versace hit me up on ig and we can talk on ig um listed for 40 to 50 okay we'll probably leave them then all right I'm gonna go ahead and knock everything, take everything off the racks. I'm gonna leave you guys up really quick. If you guys could, let's get to 250K likes. We're, we're 10K likes away, 10K likes away. We can hit 250 really, really easily. Um, let me see if I can get this to actually open up. There we go. Oh, I see, it's getting stuck on the shoes. Boom, let's get 250K likes. I'm gonna put you guys off to the side. Uh, sorry man how much are they selling it i don't know i gotta look them up after the after the stream i better leave those on the hanger actually because i might leave them behind everything i know i'm taking i'm taking off the hanger um what's uh what are the levi's worth vintage levi's i normally get like right around 35 bucks for 250 we're almost 250 let's go 250k likes quarter milli quarter milli on the live how do I like you? Tap the screen. Just just tap my hand. Tap my hand really quick. You see what's happening? You're liking the stream. There you go. It's a, it's a magic trick. Um, made in USA is vintage for Levi's. Yes. Whenever Levi's say made in USA, they're vintage. I'm not sure Levi's. They're a little bit of lower size. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the 511 Tacticals. My favorite find of the day was definitely the Rock Revivals. Rock Revivals, oh, so nice. Levi's Gold. I love picking up vintage Levi's. How much did it take you to um, make real money doing this? Probably like a good year of doing it on the side. It took, it took me about a good year doing it on the side. Levi's sell for 400 in NYC. Yeah, there's some resale shops that can get that, but on eBay, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get anywhere close to that. My fingers are done tapping for today. That's okay. Take, take a break. Take a break. We don't want any carpal tunnel in the chat. We don't want any carpal tunnel. I 
I like taking all the hangers off because it's much easier to uh, much easier for the workers to take it. Um, what do eBay's fees look like? It's normally right around 13% as your fees. How can you tell if Levi's jacket, a jean jacket is vintage? Same thing if it's made in the USA. Made in the USA are the ones that you're looking for. Been reselling for six months and the business is building? Definitely. I always like coming over this corner because there's a window right here. It's got good light. Is there money in kids' clothes at all? No. I don't sell any. C certain brands, of course, will have value, but I don't sell kids' clothes. Um, reason being, if you go to any garage sale, normally you'll see a mound of kids' clothing outside the garage sale because kids' clothes don't hold their value. Have you ever bought clothes uh, at the Goodwill Warehouse, um, like the Goodwill bins? No. I've been to the Goodwill bins, but I've never bought um, I've never bought anything there. Oops. Where are you today? I'm at Salvation Army. Great lighting for sure, yeah. It's definitely better lighting over here. Stuff like this I can really see. These are all really, really good condition. How you look up pricing a resale, you go on eBay, you type in your item you're looking at, you filter for used and you filter for sold and you'll see exactly what they're selling for. We can do that all off the eBay app. That's what I'll be doing after I end this live looking at the stuff that I don't know is it hard work um, it is hard work not easy money definitely hard work I'll never tell you that it's easy work I've noticed Nike clothes uh, for a lot um, there's certain styles of Nike that can sell for really really good money you sell books um, anything besides clothes I do sell a ton of um, Christmas houses if you go look at my eBay store it's linked in my bio you can see exactly what I'm selling It. Posh or eBay? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace. I sell on all four websites. Do you wash everything? I only wash items if they have stains or bad smells. All right, let's get to 275. We hit 275. I'm going to end the stream, and then I got to look up two of these items, and then we're going to head off. The Hawaiian print camp shirt is bomb. Yeah, it's also a Tory Richard, which is really good. Tory Richard sells for really, really good money. Daily sales goal. I try to do 50... Or not 50 $500 in sales on eBay every day 300k I don't know if I can stay for 300k <laughs> I don't know if I can stay for 300k we only got 400 people in here I'll kill everybody in the chat we'll, we'll go for 300k on the red white and blue live we'll definitely hit 300k on red white and blue ever tried depop no but I've heard it's I've heard I should try it how do you remove goodwill smell my goodwills don't really have a bad smell I know some good bulls are crappier, they'll have a bad smell, but mine really don't. Yeah, if you guys aren't following, hit the follow button, because I'm going to be hitting up more thrifts here in the next uh, hour. After I get done with this one, I'm going to head to the next one. 275. All right, we're going to cut it. We're going to cut it. I know you guys want to hit 300K so bad, but to be honest, I know all your fingers are probably killing you. Um, when are you going live again today? I'm going live right after this store. I'm going to another Salvation Army. And then later on tonight, I do a nightly live at 9.30 Eastern. What state are you in? I'm in Florida. See you on the next one. I'll see you on the next one too, Trisha. Uh, Goodwill uses spray so you don't smell the store. Probably. Thanks for sharing so much information. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining. Okay, I'm going to cut it. Do you guys want to get the 300K? We have. You guys are killing it. You already got 10K likes in a matter of a minute. Do you guys want to stay for 300K? We could hit 300K on this on the stream if we if we stay for a couple more minutes. I just don't want to bore you guys. <laughs> 300K, okay, we'll go for 300K. We got 10K more likes. Everybody just tap the screen really quick. There'll be zero information given out right here. 300K, let's go. That grand, I know, it's like you guys are you absolutely murdering the likes today. I appreciate it. Yeah, follow. Hit that follow button if you're not following. Okay, we're almost there. Like 10 seconds later, we hit 300K likes. How do we go from 275 to 300 with 300 people on the live? in a matter of two minutes but when we had 2k people in here it took forever there we go 300k let's go let's go how much was your haul i gotta i gotta still check out if you come to my next stream which is going to be in like 30 minutes when i hit my next store i'll tell you how much i paid 
have to believe. I, I, I didn't believe, Felix. I, I believe now. We hustling, we hustling. All right, I'm going to go ahead off. If you guys aren't following, hit the follow button. I'll be hitting the next um, store within the next 30 minutes. So if you're following, you'll get a notification as soon as I go live. If you can't make it to that one, I am going live tonight at 930 Eastern. I'll probably be listing some of the items from this haul and then my other haul too. So hit that follow button, come to my streams later on. Peace out. I'll see you guys at the next one.